This is the detail on the far right corner. Right now we have 105, basically 105 inches from the ceiling. On top of our casing is 11 and a half. 11 and a half. There's going to be a one inch, half inch plywood, half inch drywall going onto this wall. And right now we have 16 and about 16 three quarters, 17 on the top. But if we use 16 three quarters for a measurement, 16 and three quarters. Casing actually, the bottom detail starts at 30, 37 and 7 eighths, goes up to 42 and a half. 42 and a half there. This window is 81 and a quarter from sill to sill. Casing to casing, 78 and 5 sixteenths casing to casing. And the height is 51 inches. 51 inches to the side. 51. And this sticks out from the wall. 2 and it's 2 and 5 eighths. It sticks out 2 and 5 eighths. Over here it sticks out two and a quarter strong. Two and a quarter strong on the left. This wall over here right now is 25 and a half. On the bottom we've got 25, so there's definitely some Five and a half up top. Total ceiling is at 12 and just under 12 and a quarter. Just under 12 and a quarter to that. Okay. Those pipes right there are going to get moved back so the total width required for the radiator is 6 inches, not 8 inches as on the drawing. But the entire length of the window is the radiator, so we've got to keep all our cabinets out 6 inches from the back wall. And I have a total length right now of 157, so we've got to allow that 6 inches, 157. There you go. No, it's already through.